Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just want to say thanks for all the support so far on the videos that I've put out. Um, it's been great. And if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you do so you get notified of all my future uploads. So today I'm going to take you through the Ionic React lifecycle methods and also the accompanying hooks as well that we can use to trigger certain events at certain stages in a component's or a page's lifecycle. In React, a component has a lifecycle which you can manipulate and monitor during the three main phases. The phases are the mounting phase, the updating phase, and also the unmounting phase. Ionic React manages the lifetime of a page as well. And because of this, that sort of React flow and the mounting, updating, and unmounting phase might not fire whenever you expect them to. This is why the Ionic lifecycle methods exist. It gives us the ability to call logic and manipulate data exactly whenever the view either enters or exits. And as I mentioned, we also have access to these methods as hooks. So as a React developer, this is great news. I'll go through these as well. But first of all, I want to take you through each of the actual lifecycle methods. So the first lifecycle method is the ion view will enter. And this is fired whenever the component that you're rooting to is just about to animate in the view. So it's a good idea to put any calls for data in here, like API calls to fetch data to display something on the page and render some components based on that. And the reason is because it's going to be called every time you navigate to that view. The next lifecycle method is the ion view did enter. And you can use this one if the previous one that I mentioned has any sort of performance issues. And there's one thing to keep note with this one though. It's probably a good idea to use some sort of loader icon or loader indicator or even a skeleton screen whenever you're using this because this is fired when the component that you're navigating to has already finished animating and you don't want to cause any unwanted layout shift in your page within your app. The next lifecycle method is the ion view will leave. This acts sort of like your use effect cleanup return function or your component did unmount within a class based component. Speaking of which, that component did on mount phase of the lifecycle in React might not fire when you navigate away from a page in Ionic React. So it is a good idea to put your cleanup code in here. And the last lifecycle method is the ion view did leave. And it's a good idea to put any sort of logic into here that you normally wouldn't whenever the view is visible. Now let's take a look at this in a bit more detail. So I've created a diagram to demonstrate when the certain lifecycle methods and hooks will be fired. On the official documentation, there is a diagram that's related to Ionic Angular. So I've taken that and I've created a React version based on how I see React fits into that sort of same model. When the page begins to navigate, you can think of the component dead mount or your use effect call here. And then when the page begins the transition, this is when the use ion view will enter, lifecycle method will be fired. And then when the page is fully transitioned, you can see that the use ion view did enter will be fired. And then as we go over to the begin navigation to a new page, then the use ion view will leave will be fired. If we pop a page by pressing the back button on the browser or the UI back button, the use ion view dead leave will be fired. And if it is popped, then the use effect cleanup will be executed here. This will be fired here or the component dead on mount will be fired at that point as well. Okay, so I've got a really simple app set up just with the Ionic start command, just to give you an idea of what order these lifecycle methods actually get fired in. So on the right on the screen here, this is my code for the page two. I'm using all of the lifecycle methods as well as the use effect function and the cleanup function within the use effect. In the middle is my console. So I want you to watch the console log in the middle whenever I click navigate to page two. So I'm going to click navigate to page two and you can see that it fires the use effect. It fires the use ion view will enter hook 
which will then in turn call that lifecycle method. And then the use ion view did enter. And if we go back, you can see it fires the view will leave, view did leave, and the use effect cleanup. And that's pretty much it for the Ionic React lifecycle methods and the lifecycle hooks. If you enjoyed this video, if this helped you out, then let me know in the comments. Leave a little comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. Leave a little like on this video and if you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.